Antarctica is a very cold place where the wind almost never stops blowing. So what would make scientists travel to Antarctica and spend a month or more camped out on the edge of a glacier? The answer? They want to find out something that we don't know now. It's one of the big questions in, in science or in, in climate change research today. What will happen to the West Arctic Ice Sheet under, under future global warming? It's always more exciting in science to try to attack big, important questions. And so that was one thing that attracted me to it. But the other thing is that this also has some real relevance to the world. The importance of this is that if that ice sheet does collapse, if it does melt, then global sea level will rise. And there's a, not a certainty, but there is a likelihood that it may actually collapse. And so this is a, this is a problem that I think has some, some relevance to it. Although these are Dr. Hall's words, her sentiments are shared by the other members of the Reedy Glacier Project team. Dr. John Stone, originally from Australia, and Dr. Howard Conway, originally from New Zealand, are now both at the University of Washington, as was Claire Todd, a graduate student at the time of the research. Gordon Bromley from England is a graduate student from the University of Maine. Maurice Conway, an experienced Antarctic guide who also hails from New Zealand, was also part of the team. Working together and combining their specific special skills, this team of scientists is looking for evidence of past changes in Reedy Glacier to help us better understand how the glacier and the huge West Antarctic ice sheet into which it flows is changing today and how it may change tomorrow.